Hey guys, Sean Bucci, SurplusFundsRiches.net. We're going to have some real talk today. I want to talk to you guys about why you should get involved and why you shouldn't, or if you should get involved, or if you should not get involved with surplus funds recovery and retrieval as a business option. And I'm going to tell you first why I like it. I like it because I can have a work-life balance. I can do it like I want to do it. I can expand as I want to expand. And I can, as I learn new skills and go forward, I'm going to be rewarded for that financially. Also, every deal is different. Every person you talk to is different. Yes, uh, the general public is rough to deal with, but you also get those nuggets, those people in there that are amazing to work with, uh, and you can really help them out. But you'll notice that I didn't make that a priority for when I said why you should get involved in this business. I didn't say you should do surplus funds to help people. Here's why I didn't. If you're an electrician or a plumber or somebody in the trades, heating and air, whatever, you're helping people. You're addressing a need that they have that they can't do themselves. You're helping people. If you're in the financial services industry or in insurance or programming or whatever, you are helping people. You are trading a skill and knowledge that they don't have for money. You're helping them, okay? So this idea that surplus funds is the best alternative because you're helping people is kind of silly. Yes, you're helping them rebuild their lives. Now the other side of that is they didn't get screwed. They didn't make the payments on the mortgage or the taxes. I understand. I've said this in a previous video. I understand that life happens and it's not always their fault, but a lot of times, believe it or not, it is. They didn't make the payments when they could have. And I get it that that's not all the time, but it's a lot of it. Yes, you're helping people, but that's not why you get in this business. You get this in this business because it's rewarding, because it's financially rewarding enough that you can handle your costs and make a profit. You get in this business because it's interesting and fun, and you're constantly having to figure out new ways uh, to not only put deals together, but to navigate the system for these people. Uh, it's really interesting to me. I was a general broker for years, and it's really interesting to me how much we can provide, and yes, help these people. At the same time, have fun. You are problem solving. You are figuring things out. It is different on every single deal. That's why I love surplus funds recovery. Now, if you're getting in this just because you feel like you need to help people and your work needs to be the end all be all, you need to have a mission statement for your life that is somehow a part of your work, I think you're gonna be disappointed, okay? Because you have, to, first of all, you have to make profit, okay? That's just, it's not a dirty word. You have to make profit. But the second part of that is, guys, your work doesn't have to define your life. Your work doesn't have to be who you are. And frankly, it shouldn't be, okay? You don't need to save the planet with what you do for work. If you want to give or help or do something else, if you want to go and rescue pets that have been abused, if you want to go and save the climate, if you want to, whatever it is you want to do, what is important to you? What do you think is important? You want to, you know, advocate for uh, women's rights, um, what it, whatever it is, you can do that on a personal level, not necessarily a business level. I've seen too many people get into this business because they want to help people and they don't know how to run a business. So what ends up happening is they fail, not only themselves, but the people that they're trying to help, okay? Because they give it away, they do it for too cheap, all right? Or they let people run their lives. The people, they allow people to call them at one o'clock in the morning because they just happen to, you know, be anxious about it and that it was okay for them to call. Your business, isn't your life. You have to set boundaries and you need to take a hard look at what you're trying to accomplish if you want to get into this business. Are you trying to have a way to pay for your life and yes, help people, but pay for your life that's interesting and, and can be actually fun 
and really creative and necessitates you learning new skills, if that's you, come on board. If you're doing this because you want to save the world, that's not going to happen and you need to reevaluate what you're trying to accomplish because you may be better off picking up a hobby that's going to address that need you have or figuring out what you want to donate to your time and energy and money or whatever to uh, to meet that need. I know it made some people angry. Love to hear your thoughts on it. <laughs> Surplusfundsriches.net. Have a great day.